What is up Visor Gang? Welcome back to Coastal Bassin. Today we are fishing a uh, residential pond, but we're switching it up a little bit. Today we are going to be fishing. Did I lose it already? Miranda's got it. Today we're going to be fishing with this bad boy right here. That's right, we're going to be doing a uh, mystery tackle box challenge. If you don't know what mystery tackle box is, every month if you get the subscription, they send you a box of baits. And you don't really know what's going to come in that box until you get it, or I think you might be able to check it out in your emails. Anyways, they give you a box of baits and usually it's tailored toward whatever season you're fishing. Um, so right now this is the July box and I've got a lot of summer baits in here that should produce during the summer months. Um, so we're going to try and catch a fish on every lure in this box. Um, so I'm going to strap you guys up on the GoPro and we're going to get this open. Open up this mystery tackle box and show you what we are working with today. So usually you're going to open up this box and you're going to get some cool stickers. You're going to get some information on uh, what exactly is in the box. So that's going to tell you all the lures that you got, all of the terminal tackle and whatnot. And then you get to the nitty gritty. And so let's see what we're working with today. This is the July box. So right off the bat, we got the headbanger rocker head. And this is going to be like a scrounger head. It's very similar to like a chatterbait head. And when you, you're going to Texas rig some sort of soft plastic on there, it looks like this is what it's going to be. But anyways, that head is going to wobble and it's going to put off a lot of water displacement. It looks like they matched that up with this 10,000 fish Yoda worm. This is the irresistible tickle tail. Check that out. Pretty sweet color. It's like a natural gold shiner color. So that's pretty cool. That should get bit. Next up, we got a lifted jig, SLM swim jig. That's pretty sweet. Got that in like a candy grass red, red flake. That's gonna look pretty good in the water. Next we got a Gambler Go Fish, why not? These look like really good punching baits. They're slick, you got the like Okeechobee craw color going on. Mix of June bug and Okeechobee craw. Those should, those should do pretty well. Next up, we got the Lake Fork Trophy Lures. These are watermelon red. Not a whole lot of information on those. These just look like, uh, kind of like, segmented stick baits almost um, they tell you on the back the different ways that you can rig them so that's pretty cool we'll definitely have to figure out how to rig these how we want to catch fish on that it looks like we've got some sort of crankbait here bill lewis mr6 crankbait but it actually dives six feet it says so that might be a little tough here it's pretty shallow um, there's a lot of submerged grass so i don't know how well that's going to do but then we've got one of my favorite baits in the world uh, the guggen squad filthy frog and we got this color is bullfrog. Um, I actually have a lot of confidence in this, so I might fish this a little bit later. We're gonna try and knock off some of the harder stuff. Anyways, that is what we've got in this month's mystery tackle box. And what do you think we should start off with? I'm gonna go, oh man, I'm gonna go with the jig. No, the scrounger head. We're gonna try and knock off the scrounger head. I think that should be able to produce a bite. There you go. Got the uh, 10,000 fish Yoto worm on the uh, headbanger right there. Let's see if we can get one. First cast. Oh. Looks like if you reel it too fast, it starts to come back to the surface. So I have to take this slow. All right, so it's got a very erratic action when you twitch it. It's definitely, I thought it was gonna be more like a chatterbait, but it's not. It's seeming, I don't know. I've never seen anything like this actually. I almost have to work like a jerk bait to keep it submerged in the water. How you doing? You remember me. How are you? Oh. Did it? That's. Oh, that's awesome to hear. The biggest fish I've ever seen. Like, the bigger than the really? Yeah. That's awesome. So, I'm happy to help. I'm glad it works. And then after, afterwards, we bought some of the same things. Yeah. Um, awesome. I'm glad it works. Yeah, I know, but thank you. Congrats to him. Yeah, he was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to audible. We're going to punt this and, uh, switch over to something that I've got a little bit more confidence in, like the jig or the frog. All right, turning to the audible. Eat me. All right, 
Well, if the frog saying eat me doesn't work, then I don't know what will. The cool thing about these Guggen frogs, the filthy frogs, is that they actually have a weight on the bottom right there on the hooks. So that gives you a little bit more casting distance and it allows the frog to sit a little bit heavier if you're fishing um, heavy matted grass. It's gonna push down on that, that mat a little bit more, which allows the fish to locate it and to eat it. So let's sling this thing around for a little bit and uh, see if we can't pick up a frog bite. Oh yeah. I did hear these walk pretty well too, so this is my first time throwing one. Now, it is important for your frog rod to have an appropriate tip when you're trying to walk the frogs. Um, oh, I just pulled it right out of his mouth. Oh, man. Do you see that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he like boiled on it. He didn't even really like. I can cast this thing a mile though, which is really nice. I can easily clear this, this pond. Freaking rocket ship, my goodness. Losing daylight, friends. Just gonna let that sit there. Got him. That's a nice fish too. That was sick. I literally casted right up next to those trees. And I said, I'm just gonna let it sit there. It sat there and I'm picturing a bass just like coming out of those trees and looking at it. And I gave it one twist and he smoked it. It's a decent little fish. Get up here. Don't you come off. Get up here. Let's go. All right. About a one and a half pounder. Close to two. Eh, one and a half. Smoke that frog. Look, that's exactly how you want them to eat it, guys. Think he was coming off? No, sir. All right. One bait down. A couple more to go. There we go. Nice little one and a half. Long fish. A little chunky. Not a bad start, not a bad start at all. Get the release. See ya. All right, that was sick. I almost don't want to put the frog down, but we've got a lot of lures to cover before, uh, before it gets too dark to fish. So we are going to uh, get back into this box and see what we got on next. Frog down. Let's see, what else do we have? All right, next up, we're gonna go with the jig. Just for confidence, I'm thinking that um, I will be able to scratch this one up pretty quick. And just like that uh, headbanger, I'm going to try and knock out two birds with one stone. And I'm going to throw on those uh, Gambler Why Nots, those soft plastics. I'm going to have to cut them down a little bit. They're a little big for this jig. This is a pretty small jig, almost like a nano swim jig. Ooh, that is thick. That is a beefcake lure right there. This is perfect for punching. If I could uh, throw that with a heavy weight into some matted grass, that would do real well. We're gonna cut this almost in half, I would say, if I can find my scissors. I'm gonna cut this down, maybe a third of the bait right there. I'm gonna stick this on the back. That skirt's pretty long too. So we might trim that a little bit if we have to. But for now, we're gonna rock with this and see how it goes. That's looking pretty money if you ask me. Pretty juicy. Lifted Jigs SLM Swim Jig and the Gambler Why Not. Actually, I feel like I know exactly where this is gonna work. That drain that we found down at the far end, I think, oh, I just got a bite. I don't know if you guys heard earlier, but the uh, gentleman and his son who live here, uh, last time I came, I met them and I gave their son um, some Senkos to use because he wasn't having much luck. And apparently he's caught some really good fish on it so far. 
Got him. The little guy. I watched him take that jig. Woo! Let's go. All right. Oh, he's skinny. This guy was just dying for a meal. He was pinned pretty good, too. All right, guys. Jig out. Look at this little fish. I feel no. terrible. I hate catching skinny fish like oh this. Oh, my gosh. Get because some uh, food. that means that they were probably really counting on whatever meal I pretended to give them. So I'm going to get him back in the water, and hopefully he'll be able to eat something real this time. All right. Lure number two out. Actually, that's lure number three because we have the gambler on the jig. So we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good. We're going to run back to the rods and tie up whatever's next. Right now, I am rigging up my wacky rig. And um, this right here is actually a weedless wacky rig hook. So it's got the two weed guards right there. It's gonna protect the hook from getting grass and other nasty stuff on there. These bad boys on there. Lake Fork Trophy Lures. I don't, I, I don't know if they're called trophy lures made by Lake Fork or I'm not exactly sure. We're throwing these bad boys on there. We're gonna wacky rig that. And we're probably gonna end up sight fishing this. There's a lot of small bass up on the bank. We're gonna come back to this drain over here. I saw another fish. I don't know if it was the same fish I saw earlier or if it's a different one. But with this running water, let me show you guys this running water actually without hopefully spooking any bass. Ow, that is a prickler. Ah, oh, that hurts. There's a little bit of running water coming out of this drain. So the fish are getting up here, just hanging out in this water. Oh, bluegill came over. Oh, there's a bass on it. He's looking at it. It's coming for it. Eat it. Some big carp over here too. I think the bass over here have gotten wise to me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, let's go. Oh, don't go back in the water. That won't count. All right. All right, little dinkster. I watched him eat that. I'll keep him out of the pricklers. Those hurt. Little guy. I watched him eat it. That was pretty cool. I was just saying that I thought that the fish over here knew what I was up to. There we go. Literally the dinkiest of dinks. But it counts. It counts. See you guy. All right, that's another bait down. This actually has great action. I'm actually really impressed by this. I'm going to be fishing this wacky rig much more often. I'm glad those came in the mystery tackle box. All right, it says this dive's six feet, and there's not a lot of water in this pond that's six feet deep. So what I'm thinking is, I'm hoping that this lure floats. And so what I'm gonna do is burn this through that deep column, and then pause it, let it float up, back up a little bit, and then keep retrieving. Once it gets a little bit deeper, close to the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it, and let it float back up and just repeat until I get back to the bank. Advisor gang, we hopped over to the other side. We actually had to make a drive. We drove around to the back side or the front side of the pond, I should say. And uh, I've got some friends in this house that allowed me to uh, walk on their property to get to my fishing spot. So we're gonna take a quick cast right here and see if we can knock off this headbanger. Shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for putting people on to uh, new ways to catch fish, helping us adapt and learn. The name of the game is adapting, right? You want to be able to go to a body of water that, um, you know, water changes, water conditions change every day, and um, you have to be able to adapt to those changing conditions quickly and efficiently if you want to catch fish. 
Mystery Tackle Box allows you to kind of step out of your comfort zone and uh, learn some new techniques and add some lures into your tackle box that you normally wouldn't throw. Which, um, if you're, you know, if you're really working on becoming a better angler, branching out, trying new things is uh, the way to go. Got him. No. No. Oh, man. He came off. I felt a little tick, and then I watched my line like swimming across, and I set the hook, and I must have ripped it out of his mouth. It's getting close to 8 o'clock, so our window to get these two bites is slowly closing in on us. Over to this crankbait for a minute. Yeah, generally I would not be fishing a six foot diving crankbait in shallow, weedy water like this um, for the sake of, uh, but for the sake of this challenge, I am doing it. Huh? Sure. I was just about to pick it back up, but. That one. Me too. Oh, I had one. I got one. Oh, oh my gosh. Brandon and I almost doubled up. She almost got one on the scrum, on the headbanger. And, uh, oh, he's barely going to get up here. Let's go. On the Bill Lewis crankbait. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. And Miranda got a bite on that uh, headbanger, so. Whew. Check that out. Awesome. One more bait down. I was, uh, so what I was doing was I was reeling that Bill Lewis crankbait in. It dives so deep that I was trying to keep it above the weeds. And so I'd reel it in a little bit. And once it got down, um, I would let it float back up to the top and then retrieve again, let it float back up and I was repeating that and that fish smoked it not long into that, uh, into that cast there in that deeper water. So we're going to get this one back into the water. Thanks little guy. One more bait down, one left. All right, Miranda just got bit on this. How were you uh, working this thing? I just I let it sink and it was like... Doo -doo. You let it sink? Yeah. What is happening here, guys? She's saying she just let it sink, like a, like you were working like a yeah, like soft blow. plastic on the yeah. bottom bait. I don't know. I figured I'd try it because the clip retrieve wasn't working. Interesting. Miranda may be onto something. Maybe I've been working this wrong all along. I've been working it like a moving bait, but perhaps I should be kind of crawling it on the bottom almost. It almost looks like a big slug. You know? All right, I'm gonna do things Miranda's way. I'm gonna cast that out and uh, let it work the bottom like a soft plastic or a jig. She said she got a bite off of that. We'll see if that's the ticket. Miranda was right. This might be the best fish of the day, too. No way. Miranda's a genius. That's a nice fish. Let's go, guys. Get up here. Can't let you go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Miranda with the tips. Oh, my gosh. Wow, check that out. Sweet. Awesome, guys. You can't beat that. 
We've been uh, trying to catch a fish on this all day. This is the first lure that I started off with and um, I just couldn't get a bite and finally we came over to this side and I missed one bite fishing it kind of like a, a dying bait fish and um, then Miranda picked it up while I was trying to get a fish on the Bill Lewis crankbait. Get this guy back into the water. Awesome. Miranda picked up the headbanger. Oh, I'm losing Crocs. She picked up the headbanger and she said she was working it on the bottom, like a bottom bait, jig soft plastic, and she missed a bite immediately. And um, I copied her and was working that bait on the bottom. And uh, I just felt tick, tick, tick. And I reeled down and there he was. So shout out to Miranda, camera woman <laughs> coming in clutch. And uh, that completes the mystery tackle box, guys. All right, guys, as I was saying, that completes the challenge. Shout out to Miranda for helping me out. I don't think I would have caught a fish on that headbanger without her. So I appreciate her for uh, giving me those quick tips on the water. Um, I am probably going to keep fishing for a little bit. Um, it's getting late. I'm getting hungry, honestly. So it's time to go get some food. And I promised Miranda Dairy Queen because she's an awesome camera woman. So uh, thank you all so much. Um, if you like this video, please drop a like, drop a comment. Um, tell me if you'd like to see more challenges, if you want to see more MTV videos. Um, huge shout out to Mystery Tackle Box. Um, if you want, you can check out their IG and sign yourself up for a subscription. You'll get new baits every month. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. There's going to be more content coming soon. And uh, thank you all so much, and I'll check you guys later.